Welcome back guys. So I'm here again with AF Sister Wig. Same packaging. You know, for a very long time this has been the packaging for the most part. You know, it's pretty simple and sleek. So, you know, no problems with that. Uh, first thing as usual we're seeing is the wig. Before, you know, the goodies that are inside, I got a pair of wig caps. Uh, edge brush and comb. You know, a little section clip and some hair pins, and that's everything. Okay, guys, so this is the wig we're working with today, and I'm so excited to get into it. Oh my gosh, these curls look so good! It's like a nice little deep wave vibe, and it's a natural color. But what's so special about today's wig is that this is a newly launched switch Swiss lace invisible strap 360 lace wig. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, this is a Swiss lace, and it's a invisible strap now. This is the first time I'm working with this. Usually, you know, you have the adjustable straps in the back here, but no. Oh my gosh, you actually can pull this, and it's tighter. Wow. Okay, this is brand new to me. And it's invisible, so you really can't really tell what's going on so easily. You'd really have to be up in a person's head. This is so nice and discreet, and it's gonna come off so realistic. So this is what's in the back of the wig. Wow. They also attach this extra elastic band on the inside of the cap, and there's a total of four combs on the inside of the cap. The lace is already customized as usual, which is it's already you know pre-bleached and tinted. Looks so good. It's a 13 by 4 um, spacing and. Honestly, I'm loving it. Wow. You know, as usual, it is, as usual, it is plucked, pre-plucked to perfection. It looks really nice and realistic. I can't wait to go and put this on. You see that? Yep. That's looking so good. Versus other 360 weeks where, you know, sometimes it's stop at the air portion where you have the lace. This is all around lace, if you notice. In the mid portion here has like that regular cap look but even in the back of the wig has a lace and around here has like baby hairs so you know you can make things look even more um natural and if you want to go in and pluck it further like in the back you can but everything looks really really realistic so they really did their thing on this wig and upgraded the entire quality and I'm so excited to go ahead and um, get to it. Before I move on to installing this, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut away the lace in the back. Because it's way easier to do it while it's off your head rather than on your head. I've never cut away the excess lace while it's on my head. So, I'm just going to take my time and cut around that area be, be careful not to cut the hair so all right so i'm gonna do the ball cap method and i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use the extra strap on the inside to slip the wig on I won't be gluing down the back you could literally just use the straps in the back to you know pull them um, tighten it in order to make the wig like more snug on your head and right now I'm just kind of like measuring up the hairline and seeing how everything will look so I did cut it off really nice and exact in the back so you see I don't have any like um, lace to cut off now at the sides because I already removed it initially so I'm just gonna go ahead and 
I'm gonna get my glue. Which today I'm gonna be using my Erica J. I don't need an extreme. Well, this is still a great glue for a great gold, you know. But you know what I mean by extreme light. Like my next glue, I showed you guys it before. When you want to go like crazy with the gold, that's the glue to use. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna do one layer of glue. Looking really good. We're gonna fix the parts where it's a little bit, you know, not fully dried down. But one layer of glue and spray, and it looks really, really good. All I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut away. Go ahead and cut away the excess lace. So really, you know what Swiss this Swiss this is always gonna look so bomb. I'm not gonna do no baby hairs today. I'm not. I'm just gonna give it a nice pull back vibe and I, I left out just a few strands on the sides here for um a little swoop, a little sideburn uh action, nothing too drastic. I'm gonna be using this. Argan Oil Lace Tint Mousse, medium brown, is what I got this in. So it comes out brown night. This is the first time I'm actually using this product. I've had it for a while. And I just didn't get around to using it. So this is really good if you want to use the whole, do the whole mousse vibe. To form your edges if it is that you decide to do edges and I just want like to do a soft like soup I don't want it to be hard so that's why I'm not using gel I don't need to go in with that anywhere else take a little bit of my wax everything's gonna be pretty back so So what you want to do is, what I do for the back is I take the comb that is in the back there and I stick it in my hair and just, you just want to pull it down so it's not too tight and then I'm just going to do a ponytail. So even after you do the ponytail, like you can readjust the back. I'm going to do a high ponytail. Okay, so that looks good, right? So all you want to do is take the back and I take the comb and kind of just push it in. And if you feel like you need to be like more secure there, you could take pins. So that's how that looks. You see how snug it is, like and of course you know you can do it messy like i prefer to do it messy like in the back whenever i do this method because honestly i don't necessarily like to feel glue on the back of my head i really don't <laughs> isn't this cute <laughs> i really don't so i don't usually do like glue it down the only way i'm gonna do that is probably if i go to the hair salon and have somebody else do it so because i'm i don't know 
I ultimately really don't like the feel of glue on the back of my hair. So that's just me. So I prefer to do this glueless method and it is, it really works. Like it really does work. Um, so I just have this all and it's so cute. So you see that it looks pretty good. It looks very realistic and you could definitely go ahead and pull down the baby hairs that it comes with in the back to make it even look, like, look even better. So that's a goal now. <laughs> Listen, everything about this week is a 10 because listen no edges needed you really don't even need a severance i just wanted to do a little razzle razzle and ultimately today i say you know what let me go ahead and give them a nice little fully pull back like hairline install with this 360 wig so <laughs> yeah this is so cute if you want you could go ahead and you know the usual i love to do this little cute bun that's so nice you could literally do that little cute bun there nothing like a nice messy bun like who okay I love it let me know what you guys think because yeah it's literally not even hard to work with as you can see you see the little baby hair yeah not hard to work with it's so easy to the point guys don't mind the two lashes on the on my eye like <laughs> listen i'm just letting them do them thing everything else fell out and we're giving her eyelashes a break okay anyways yeah that's it let me know what you guys think this week is a 10 out of 10 i highly recommend shedding is on a minimal level the texture of the wig like this it feels good it's soft very lightweight as well very very manageable and the insta it was really easy for me to work with the lace is very like realistic as you can see and i love it i really do love it if you're looking for a bomb 360 lace front wig this is definitely one of them okay so you can go ahead check out my description box for the direct link to this wig all right, shout out to AF Sister Wigs once more for another bomb wig. And thank you guys for watching. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's um, video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.